I'm Mike Pankinen. I'm the Senior Director of Tech and Safety Services for AEM. And what we do, we deal with a, a number of different product groups. We have about 34 plus product groups um, where we deal with issues that the industry faces on a product by product basis. And then we also deal with topical issues like silica exposure, noise and vibration, uh, tier four issues. Those are the types of things that we work with. Well, right now, I think one of the big ones is the regulatory burdens that are being imposed on the mining industry and on the equipment manufacturers as well. Some things that come to mind, there's a, if you've heard of it last uh, late August, there was a regulation called conflict minerals that's going to require a huge amount of resources to comply with that regulation, part of Dodd-Frank. Uh, the European REACH regulations. So there are also regulations concerned with taking the minerals out of the ground. Um, and I think the overall cost of the, the regulations that the manufacturers have to deal with is significant. We've enjoyed an alliance with MSHA. We started that alliance going back into 2007. That alliance lasted for two years and then um, we continued to work with them and renewed that alliance last year, so we're still working in a formal alliance. We work on best practices for the equipment. We have uh, collaboration in meetings. MSHA people attend our meetings. We go and we, we deal with MSHA as appropriate. Uh, we look at issues that affect the industry. One of the main ones was encouraging operators to use seat restraints, seat belt inducements, and, you know, keep them safe. The equipment is designed to keep people safe, but they have to use the safety features that are that are built into it. Yeah, Tier 4 regulations have impacted mining equipment. I think the manufacturers have done a great job to step up and uh, comply with the requirements of the regulation. Um, AEM has been involved with the manufacturers. We have developed white papers that define how the operator works with the piece of equipment. Um, tier 4 has cost the manufacturers a lot in terms of engineering time. Uh, it has also increased the price of the equipment. In many instances, though, it has opened up a doorway to additional features and benefits that the, that the equipment has on it in addition to the Tier 4 technologies.